hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Charles Peace this is elegant fashion tutorial in today's video we'll be making a beautiful short six pieces dress this is the simplest way of making this beautiful six pieces dress now the length I'm working with here will be 45 inches now it will not be having a half cut. I will cut everything all together. So I will start from the shoulder to the damper. That is what I mean. Now, the width I will use will be 25 inches. The width. Now the length is 45 inches. Why the width is 25 inches? This is 25 inches. Now the first thing I will do is to cut the center piece. That is, I will cut it together. The center piece, my bust to bust measurement is 8 inches. That is, if I measure, you can call it nipple to nipple or bust to bust. My bust to bust measurement is 8 inches divided by 2 give me 4 inches then i'll add half inch for the seam allowance that's i want to cut the front part first the front that is the center part of the six pieces so i have 4.5 inches here then i'll take it down Now I want my flay to start from 28 inches. That is the full part of the extra allowance will be added from 28 inches down. That is where I will put my extra allowance. Now remember we are marking 4.5 inches already is 4.5 then to the damp parts now it's not left for me to determine how I want my flay the size of my flay so damp parts I will use 10 inches that is times 2 will give me 20 will give me 20 so I will use 10 inches to the damp part depending on how you want it to be you want the flay to come out this is 10 inches so I will extend it to this 28 inches here This is 28 inches. This 28 inches here. This point, I will join it to this point. Now I will join it together. What I have here is 10 inches times 2 of feet. will give you 20. So now I will take this place straight. Now... The center part, we want to cut the center part first. This is 4.5 inches for the center. Then, my half length is 17 inches. Then, from the 17 inches, I will measure 20 inches. That is 10 inches on fold. 10 into 2 will give me 20 inches. This is 10 inches on fold. Why I have 17 inches. Remember this upper side. I've already measured 
4.5 inches so i'll connect these 17 inches to the 20 inches down this is 20 but it's 10 inches on four that is 10 times to give us 20. so i'm having i will slant it here So this is the center, we are cutting the front center part, then I'll cut it out. Now I've cut the center piece to cut the two side front parts now. I will now place this and turn it over to this side. I'll place it like this. Now I will overlap it this way. You can see the other one. I will place it this way. Now I will take my measurement. Now my shoulder measurement is 8 inches. 8 plus half inches for the seam allowance. That is 8.5 inches. This is 8.5 inches. My armhole, I will use 9 inches for the armhole. Now, this is my armhole. I will mark two inches up to cuff the armhole. Then this eleven point five inches is my from my shoulder to my boss point then I will measure my boss measurement is 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 inches this is 10 inches I'll be using 3 inches extra or you can decide to use 2.5 inches depending on how you want your allowance remember my half length is 17 inches this is 17 inches here yeah? now my waist measurement is 38 inches divided by 4 will give me 9.5 inches this is 9.5 inches and i added extra why i'm adding three inches i'll add it back is because i'm using lining to turn it if it's normally you don't want to use a lining on it you can add one inch 1.5 or two inches depending on how you want your allowance to be but i'm adding three inches because i'm gonna use a lining on it then from this 17 inches now i will then bring it down to this place remember we are having 20 inches at the damp part so from my 17 inches here, I will then extend it down to this part. So this is 17 inches here. Then I have to run a straight line to the down part. I've already marked mark our 20 inches down. Now, before I take the neck measurement, I have to cut the back because I'll place this as well to cut the back piece. So after cutting it, then I can, this one particularly, because this one, I'll place it the same way and cut for the back. But this side, because of the zipper, so the back will be having two pieces instead of one piece. Remember, this one is on food. So I'll have to 
give uh, allowance for the zipper. So now I'll cut this one out, then I'll place it to cut the back part. Now I'll cut out this one. Is what we are having this is for the two sides of the front why this one is the center of the front you can see that so we'll cut the back piece this is Three of them are for the front. So we we'll cut four. The back now, because of the zipper, it will be four pieces, not three. Now this is the front, center front. Now I want to cut out the center back piece. I've placed it on the fabric and this is extension of 1.5 inches for the zipper allowance. Now I'll cut it out. Now I will open it up. So I added extra allowance of 1.5 inches for the zipper allowance. Okay, guys, we are done the same with the center back piece and the center front piece. The next thing we will cut now is the two sides of the center. What we we'll use now to cut it, we'll just pick a piece from the from one side of the front piece, that is the side part precisely, and place it on the fabric and cut it into two pieces to make up with the two back piece. Now this is one piece from the front, then I'll place it this way. I'll cut it out now. Now before I conclude this shoulder part, now I want to put the shoulder slant. I have to join the second front side together. Don't forget to put your shoulder slant, one inch shoulder slant. So now, I'll put my shoulder slant. This is for the front sides and the back sides. 
that is we are having four pieces here then i'll bring my front part as well to be sure that the the slants So when you are doing it, please try and do it before you start cutting. I almost forgot. That's why I'm trying to put it now. And the back pieces of the six pieces dress. So I will just place it on this table for you to see. And I'll show you how to join the pieces together. But before then, I will cut the neckline. Now for my neckline, this is the front part. I will measure seven inches or 6.5 i don't want it to be too low 6.5 remember i'm already having 4.5 inches here i'm using four inches here so i'll connect it to four inches not 4.5 and from my shoulder to my boss point is 10.5 inches then my under boss is 15 inches. This is 15 inches here. Now, from my under boss, I will remove one inch. And one inch here. So I remove one inch here and one inch here. Making it two inches then from this point i will extend it to this flip part i just want to bring out the boss here so from this boss point i will mark two inches I will carve it out. One inch at the armhole, armhole side. Why one inch at the front part? I'll join it to these two inches here. can decide to use half inch then i'll cut it out with my scissors Then I'll cut out Now we are done with the cutting. This is the front This is the two sides why this is the center So we are done cutting I was well show you the back. This is the down part of it you Can see how it flay is how the flat is it's it down I these are the two sides these are the flay as well this is the center back piece now I want to cut the neckline 
I'll first of all measure, I'll use four inches. Remember we are having already 1.5 inches here for the zip allowance. I'll then measure four inches. Then from these four inches, I cover it to these four inches here. Then I'll cut it out. Okay. I'll put a notch for my... For the zip allowance here. So that you not be confused. This is 1.5 inches. I'll put a notch. You can see the notch. Now I'll open it up for you to see. This is for the back. Here's the center back. Why these are the two sides? Now, the next step we are going to talk about is the sewing aspect of it. For us to start sewing it, the first thing you would do is to join the pieces together. Now, it will not go on twos. If you are sewing the back piece, it will not be, you first of all start with these two pieces. You have to start from the shoulder. Down to the hemline. You sew it half inch. From the shoulder. I hope you like the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Any question on this or any style you want us to make for you, you can drop your comment at the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I publish another video. Bye until I see you again in my next video.